gonna say it's been a big day, but it hasn't been a big day. We had a big morning this morning because Rem turned six months today, which means that we got to start weaning with him this morning, as you guys saw. He was not interested in that avocado in the slightest, but I'm really excited to try new things with him every day from like here on out. But uh, yeah, we had a really lazy day after our very big morning and it is now dinner time and I feel like all day I pretty much just read, which was so nice. <laughs> it's not very often that I get to do that. I felt a little bit guilty because I told myself that I would go to the gym today, but it didn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Rest is just as important. But right now I'm just I'm getting dinner ready and I figured I'd share this recipe with you guys because I made it a couple of weeks ago, posted it on Instagram, and a few of you guys asked for the recipe. And I promised that I would just share it in a vlog. So this is my Chili chorizo truffle gnocchi recipe. I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify, but it's also got like red wine, uh, bacon. It's really really nice. Super easy Sunday dinner. Sundays in our house mean either a roast or pasta. So we're still not really at roast weather. It's 27 degrees outside. So pasta it is because I'm tired of summer food. I'm over the salads. I'm tired of salads. I'm sick of the barbecue. And I just I'm ready. I'm ready for pies and I'm ready for pasta and I'm ready for all that delicious autumn autumnal wintry food, you know? I feel like it's just it's the best. Let me show you guys what you will need. I'll put the recipe in the description because I'm not gonna like record this whole thing. Um, it's very very easy. It's pretty much just like every single other pasta recipe that I share except the ingredients are just a little bit different. So three cloves of garlic that I've just diced up. This is a little bird's eye chili. This is probably one of the important factors <laughs> about this pasta sauce is that um, you really want to use a bird's eye chili, not like a big red chili. You don't want the sauce to taste like capsicum. You literally just want the chili flavor and the little bit of heat that you get from a bird's eye chili. So just one of those. We've got some truffle oil. This is not my favorite, but it will do the job. This Baby Roma Passata, so, so good. Use it for everything. Red wine. This is one chorizo that I've just chopped up and then I've got three, like, is it called? Like the, the short part of the bacon or just like two bacon rashes. And then you can make your own gnocchi, but tonight I'm just going to be using pre-made. This is the brand that I prefer to use if I'm gonna use pre-made gnocchi. But for some reason when I did my Woolies order, they only gave me one of these. And this other random one, you might be wondering why they're in the sink. They're just defrosting. I freeze these. Uh, never had this one before, but I have wanted to try this brand. So we'll see how these go. Oh. 
I think the last one we didn't really have to use. <gasps> oh my goodness! I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! Gracious me! <sighs> At long last many hours later I'm standing in front of my beautiful unpainted wall I sort of want to paint this this weekend because I had a realization that like this wall and like this these two walls of and like the kitchen are the only walls in the whole house that actually we didn't paint when we sort of attacked everything right before Remy was born but anyway that's not why I put the camera back up I ended up not opening the laptop. I'm gonna wait for Clay to get home because sometimes, I don't know, like, it, you know, it's just more exciting when there's someone else to like do stuff like that with. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird, but I think I just discovered something. I'm a big fan of my Bissell. Um, this is the wet dry floor cleaner. It's for hard floors and rugs like specifically like floor rugs not carpets but i just took the solution maybe maybe people do this maybe it's a thing and i just don't know about it but um i put my like spot cleaner solution into the big floor cleaner bissel and i just did the carpets in like my like study office my dumping ground basically <laughs> and also our bedroom and they came up so good they're more like they're drier than they would be if i used the spot cleaner on the carpet which is literally what that machine is for and the lounge so much drier they dried way quicker they got pretty much all of like just the like softer marks out there's like a couple of bigger marks that i'm gonna have to come back and get with the spot cleaner from Dwayne. but he's a member of this family and he's not going to be removed from coming inside of the house or going on the carpet but um yeah i can't believe how well this brought up the carpet so i'm about to do the floor the carpet in the nursery but i just wanted to share that little hack with you guys if you've got one of these Put the spot cleaner in it and do your carpets. They come up, they came up really, really good. I sh should have shown you guys before. But yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of a clean this afternoon. That's sort of like specifically targeted around the dog being in the house because he's such a slobbery dog. I swear, he just goes outside, picks up a mouthful of dirt, comes and stands in the hallway and shakes his face. And obviously like he's, what? What are they called when they've got those like big dangly jewels? Is that what they're called? Anyway, basically, his big slobbery cheeks, he shakes his head, and if he's got dirt in his mouth, it goes all over the walls. So, I've just been sugar soap scrubbing the walls. Very exciting stuff. And now I'm going to clean the carpet, and this is my life. And thank you guys for being here because I realize that this is extremely boring, but this is my life. And actually, this is so needed. I'm so looking forward to like a change in season. And I feel like it's just so nice to like have your house all nice and clean and fresh coming into a new season. <laughs> computer i love it love it and, like migrate all my data over to this computer didn't even matter because apparently i didn't know this so this is for everybody else that probably doesn't know this i feel like this is like a new thing but basically i was like you know I, i'll just like sign into some of the websites i use often like les mills youtube whatever 
called up Les Mills' website, went to put in my details, and it knew them from my Apple ID. How good is that? So it's like fresh computer, but it knows all my passwords. Love it. Made it to the gym on this beautiful, chilly, rainy morning. And you guys. I've been reunited with my one true love besides the little boy that's in the back seat uh, and my husband <laughs> oh my god it still tastes the same I was worried that they would like change the flavor or just do something weird because my favorite one before this one was the wild berries and then they just like completely got rid of that flavor we changed it to mixed berry and it's just it's not the same so this one this is the woman's best sour peach candy pre-workout and it is just hashtag life source so i'm gonna throw this back and do some legs and then after uh i'm doing a fitness assessment not by choice Sorry, I'm just watching this bingle that's about to happen over here. <laughs> yeah, my sister is studying to be a personal trainer and she needs to do a fitness assessment on somebody. Obviously, I'm the guinea pig. Cheers. It's going to be a great day. Happy Tuesday. Finished training. Looking very, very cute. I know. It seems about to do this fitness test on me. My name's Caroline. 66 years old. This should be fun. and I feel like you know when your whole body just feels like heavy after you've trained that's how I feel right now just making myself some breakfast at 12 o'clock well actually I already had brekkie I had a crumpet earlier but um, obviously it's lunchtime just whipped up my usual breakfast two hash browns eggs spinach baked beans and avocado uh, because I'm trying to increase my protein intake this sounds so lame but um, before Remy was born was like the fittest I've ever been in my life which was not really that fit but I felt really good about my body which is like so lame but actually it's good I feel like it's good if you're comfortable in your own skin right so I was like studying my old self so this is so lame to say out loud but basically I don't ever watch my old videos and I was looking at my old videos and I was like what was my like lifestyle like before Remy and like what what did I do what did I eat and like obviously what did I eat is like a big part of it and I noticed that all I ate was like protein, protein, protein and not even like consciously like I, that's just what I ate because I felt like it and yeah one of my favorite breakfasts which you guys have already seen in this vlog now at the start is uh, hash browns with spinach, eggs and baked beans finally asleep and I'm about to have a very 
I'll leave in shower. But the mailman just came right on time. Some packages from Wild. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, how exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh my actual goodness. Gracious me. It matches the towels in the bathroom. That is so cute. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's so cute. I wonder what these scents are. They look like they're the same scents as the deodorant, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, fresh cotton and sea salt. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that is one of the deodorant scents. If this says purple rain, then that's sort of just... Yeah. And these bottles are so cool. So these are the refills. This feels like cardboard. Oh yeah, that's so nice. I really love the fresh cotton and sea salt scent, like that is the next one. Oh, it smells so nice. That's the next one to go into my refillable deodorant for sure. That scent is just, it's really, really nice. A little bit masculine, but like feminine. Oh, love it. And then Purple Rain is just, I love this one too. I don't know which one I want to do now. I think I'm going to put the coconut one in. How cool is that? It just pops right in there. That is gorgeous. How cute is that? Aluminium case with the little brand, the branding on the front. Stunning. I'm not going to lie, these two out of everything would be my favourite. That coconut one is very, very nice, but don't get me wrong, I just love these two. If you're into scents that are a bit more like masculine, um, but still like feminine at the same time, you know what I mean? Uh, then I think that you would really like these. Oh, look at even mattress. Mattress by Sports Bra, cute. Uh, yeah, I'll leave my link in the description of the video. It is a affiliate link that pays me commission. If you decide you want to buy something, I do really appreciate it. Thank you in advance. But yeah, I'm going to go have a shower before the baby wakes up. Dinner is done. The baby's asleep. I have a shower, washed and blow dried my hair. Fresh PJs. Got my bottle of water. I wanted to have a sleepy tea, but then I realized I probably need to drink at least another water. Oh, another water another bottle of water before I go to bed. I was a bit slack today, which is like unheard of for me, but I can feel it. Like I, I feel like a headachey from not drinking enough water. But I sat in the lounge waiting for Clay and we are about to watch the second episode. This, The Last Airbender. I was obsessed with this show when I was a kid. Loved it. I feel like I watched it again when I was pregnant too. I can't really remember, there's this whole chunk of my brain that's gone and probably not coming back but I know I'm only one episode in but it is perfect, like down to a T. I don't even know how soccer looks exactly like the cartoon version of soccer, like it's so crazy to me but yeah we're gonna watch this. I'm going to try to resist having a sleepy tea, going to drink my water, and go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I changed a few settings on my camera, so I'm really sorry if you can see literally every single weird mark on my face, but I think I've finally gotten rid of the like, um, there's like a filter, weird filter setting, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I think that I'm gonna like this setting a bit better because I feel like hopefully it's a bit more HD because I would like to work on that. Uh, but let me just bob you guys up here. I have just gotten ready. I know I said I'd see you in the morning in the last clip. Well, it's evening, and I think even a couple days later. Um, I've just gotten ready. I'm about to go out to dinner with my friend and her boyfriend, and this is like the first time that I'm like going out to like dinner without my baby or like yeah going out to dinner without 
Remy and that's so weird. He's sound asleep. Clay's gonna be staying home and watching him obviously doing what dads do. And yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend, meet her boyfriend, and get some burgers. And just be fully present in the moment and I'm honestly looking forward to it. I'm looking for looking forward to some adult conversation without me constantly having to be like you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like when you go out with your child or your baby, it's like your brain is half here, half, like, actually not even half. I want to say it's like one third on you and two thirds on whatever the baby's doing. It's so bad. But I found that's just part of it. But anyway, I am actually here to close out the vlog. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you for spending the last few days with me. Or thank you for spending a few days with me this week, I should say. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you would like to see in the next one. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all really, really soon. Bye.